Hello folks, it's Mr Neil here and this is the first of our videos on software development. In this video we're going to be looking at output, variables and inputs. By the end of this video you will be able to explain the role of programming and how it works in a computer and then you'll be able to write Python code for output statements and input statements focusing in on text variables and you're also going to look at concatenation. So every computer system follows these three core principles. Information is inputted into the computer system. The computer system then processes that information in some way. And the information is then outputted out of that computer system. And the programs that we are going to build at this level will follow this basic three-step model. Information will be inputted by the user. The computer will then process that information in some way. And the information will then be outputted back to the user. So we're actually going to start at the end of this process and we're actually going to look at how does the information get from the program back to the user. So in Python, the way we do this is using the command print. So let's head over to REPL and see how we do that. Here we are in REPL and the command that we use to output information is simply print. The print is in lowercase and it will turn purple. We are then going to open our brackets and you'll see that REPL then by default closes them. Because we're going to print text, our text needs to be inside quotation marks. And the message that I'm going to print is hello world. And then when we go and click on run, in the console we will see the text that we are wanting to print. Now with programming and with Python, it's really important that we follow the rules of the language. So for example, one of the rules is if you open a quotation mark, you must close it. And if I forget to close a quotation mark, we get a syntax error, which means we're breaking the rules of the language. Some of the rules of Python, as we've alluded to, the print has not to be capital. The brackets must open and close and then you must have your text inside quotation marks. And if you don't have these, you've got incorrect syntax, which means the broken code, so your program won't work, and there are going to be errors, and we want to try and limit errors as much as possible. So I've shown you how to do an output statement. It is now over to you. In a second, I want you to pause this video, and you're going to create a new REPL project called Output Variable and Input. And in this project, at this point, I want you to do two things. Number one, I want you to output the message, this is my first Python program. And then number two, I want you to add an output statement that will print your name. So pause the vi this video now and go and do that. Now let's turn our attention to variables. Variables are placeholders for information. A variable can store one piece of information. And we can call that variable whatever we like, but we can't have a space in the name. And it must start with lowercase. And we can't have two variables with the same name. For example, on the right hand side of the screen, you'll see that we have got the variable name. And into that variable, I'm putting the contents Mr. Neil. So let's head over to REPL and see how we do that. Here we are in REPL, and it's really easy to create a variable. We just have to give it a name. So in this case, I'm going to give the variable name, and then we're going to set equals and the value that we want it to equal to. So Mr. Neil in this case. Really important that the, the value that we want to store, because it is text, it has to go inside a quotation mark. We can then display that information back out to the user using the print command. So print name. Now when we run it, you'll see that we have got the phrase Mr. Neil. I can customise the message and add some text before or after the variable. So for example, we could go print. We want the text hello, followed by the name, followed by a full stop and then a wee statement. Now when we run the code, we get the plain print of Mr. Neil, but we also get the message where we've added some text and a variable together. This process is called concatenation. So that is how you use a variable to store information in Python. Now again, it's your turn. Editing your output variable and in input REPL, I want you to add a variable that will store a name. Exactly as I just did 
uh, two seconds ago. And then we'll need to add a print statement that will say hello followed by that name. Then you're going to add a variable that will store a colour. This colour can be any colour in the world. And then you're going to have a print statement that includes both the name and the colour that you have stored. Pause the video now and go away and do that task. So we've had a look at output. Let's now go to the start of this sequence and have a look at input. So we're going to have a look at how we input information into our program in Python. So let's head over to REPL and see how that is done. So adding an input in Python is relatively straightforward. At the moment, I've got name equals Mr. Neil, but I'm going to change that and I'm going to add in the command input and you'll see that it turns purple. And then inside my brackets, I'm going to type in the message that the user will see. So this can be a question. Now, when we run the code, we are asked, what is your name? And now we can type in our name and you'll see that the, this value that I'm typing in is going to be stored in the variable name, which means the messages that on line five and line seven will be updated. So if I now hit enter, I get Mr. Neil and hello, Mr. Neil, nice to meet you. Now, if I run it again and change the name to James, when I hit enter, I'm told James and hello, James, nice to meet you. So that's how we input information in Python, store it in a variable, and then we can use that variable to output a message to the user. So essentially, we now have the full sequence. Got one more program that I would like you to implement. And again, we're adding to our output variable and input project. This time you're going to add an input statement that will ask for and store the name of your favorite food. Then the output for that message will be your favorite food is, and then the value stored within favorite. You could always try and change the message. So instead of saying you are, you change it to be name. Pause the video now and have a go at adding these steps to your program. During this session, you have been introduced to output statements, input statements, variables, and concatenation in Python. And if you've completed the three tasks that are part of this video, you should have a program that looks similar to the one that I have on the screen. You might want to pause the video now and compare my program to your program. What you now need to do is you now need to go and practice the skills that you've learned in this video by creating programs that utilize output, input, variables and concatenation.